Um, so last night when I discovered I was going to come here and talk to you, um, I, I, I mean, the, there's so much to say on the one hand and you know it already on the other, you know, so it's kind of hard to know what to do. So I turned to a list I had made uh, for my 75th birthday. I turned 75 this year. <laughs> I, I have no idea how it happened, no idea. <laughs> and my birthday has lasted all year long. It's like Queen Victoria because it's a fundraising event. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, and I do have some personal wishes. I mean, it's not all, you know, I mean, I want to live with elephants. I love elephants, they're my totem. I want to write more, you know. But really, when it comes down to, to what, um, makes me know that I've been helpful, you know, that is the big, biggest gift. It really has to do with what we are all working on here in this room today. So here in no particular order, kind of like uh, Andy Kramer's daughter's letter, <laughs> are some of the, my birthday wishes. Um, and then I'll go on to explain where I ended up. I want all grown-ups to be able to get married as long as they don't hit each other. <laughs> think, think how many more gifts could be bought from Macy's. <laughs> I want to walk past a newsstand and see a lot of erotica and no pornography. It's present in the words, you know. Eros means love, free choice, mutual pleasure. Porne means female slaves. Female slaves, right. Um, I want schools and childcare centers to have the military budget and the military to have the schools and the childcare budget. <laughs> Providing they use that budget for peacekeeping. I want to turn on the television news or whatever, however we get our news and see women and men of all colors and ages reporting what went right as well as what went wrong. <laughs> and I don't want to see everything divided into two, you know, that's, it, it, there's, it's, it's ready-made hostility on, on the media. You know, in Japan, when they're discussing something important, they at least have three people. That, alone is like water in the desert, you know, not to, not to just have a debate with all heat and no, no light. Um, I want to walk into Central Park, which I live near Central Park, and see as many white guys wheeling babies of color, mannies, we even have a word for them, mannies, <laughs> as there are nannies of color wheeling white babies, and I want all of them to be well paid. <laughs> and happy in the knowledge that babies are really interesting people. <laughs> There's already a person inside every baby, right? Anybody who's ever met a baby knows that. Um, I want to turn on Oprah and see a show about men trying to combine home and family. I mean work and family, work and family. I want all of us, all of us to understand we all came from Africa. All of us came from Africa. <laughs> There is no such thing as race. Race is a minor adaptation to different climates around the world. We all came from the same place. Um, I, I want us all to know that you can't reach peaceful ends by violent means. It just doesn't work. <laughs> Marx was right about a lot of things, but that the ends justify the means was the fatal flaw the fatal flaw, just not true. Um, and I hope that we learn from the original wisdom of this country and the land on which we stand, which said that it took four generations to heal one violent act. I, um, I, I really think that the majority of the country is, is moving toward these goals and these kinds of wishes 
And if we look at the public opinion polls, we can see that that's the case. But I think we're all troubled right now by the 20 to 30 percent of the country that's afraid of leaving the old hierarchical view of people behind. That small percentage of the country is in revolt, in revolt, and we see it every day, and it's pretty scary. And they control one of the major parties, one of our two great political parties. I always feel I should apologize to all my friends who are Republicans because it's mainly old Democrats who left the Democratic Party, like Jesse Helms and all those folks, <laughs> when it got too inclusive and so on, and took over the Republican Party. I'm really sorry about that. And I, <laughs> I hope you will organize and take it back. Because the truth is that the, the, the agenda of the Republican Party does not reflect the majority views of Republicans either. And we should never, ever give them the country and say what's happening to the country. No, it's a small percentage. We should never, ever give them the whole Republican Party. No, it is an extremist group. So we need to uh, bring all of our knowledge together and learn from each other and create a community. Part of the reason that that 20 or 30 percent is able to be strong is because they provide community in a way that I feel, fear progressive groups do not necessarily. There are 8,000 fundamentalist Baptist churches with a voter delivery system, according to them, in the basement or somewhere within every one. We don't have 8,000 anything. You know, we need to provide community for each other. Um, and I don't know about you, but when I saw a man with a loaded assault weapon in Arizona outside a healthcare meeting, and it was legal. This was kind of a big, I said, you know, this, this just can't be, it can't be. It's also true that there's a 49% increase in gun purchases over the same period, uh, uh, over 2007, before the election began. There's a 27% increase in firearm sales for the first quarter of 2009 as compared to the same quarter the year before. And this is just legal gun purchases. These are just people asking for per permits. The Southern Poverty Law Center is recording a dramatic upturn in the membership of neo-Nazi, white supremacist, and other extremist groups that believe in this human hierarchy. Of course, Dr. George Tiller, a, a hero to so many thousands of women who helped when they needed emergency abortions for pregnancies gone tragically wrong. He, as we know, was murdered, shot in the head by an anti-abortion terrorist as he worshiped in his own church. This is the first such murder since the clinic bombings and abortion doctor assassinations during the Clinton administration, which was the last time that these authoritarian folks had lost control of Congress and the White House. It's also the first time in my lifetime that I've heard fascist and other hate words reported within mainstream media and directed at an American president. 